Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Pardon? <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. Yeah, this isn't time to be having fun. That's probably for the best. Yes, exactly. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Ooh. Well, let's choose the other Perhaps one. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introduction. <clears throat> Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, mm. marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie Ooh, well. come on. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. See, I have no idea what well, all this is. I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the seven kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Oh, thank you very much. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Oh, dear. Well? Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was rather disappointed by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. I tried to be Kings impartial. Can be exhausting sometimes. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Mm. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. See, I know I have no idea about the story, but I have a feeling she's going to get bumped Do off. Do you agree? Oh, shut up. Uh, <laughs> it oh. doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. You learn very quickly. Oh, that was a bit of luck. Your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Oh, let's just do it. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Uh-oh. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. I'd rather she wasn't there. It's about my family. I trust her. Oh, okay, but Sarah, I'm going to kick your ass if you do me one. Go on. Ask. Oh. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? Oh, crap. My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. Kill him. She thought if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, Ooh. and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. 
but my mother has left me no choice. God, I'm not going to create insisted. a war. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Won't like it. Just think how we turned on Lady Sansa. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. Come I don't on. Know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. How's she gonna find out? Oh. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Shit, did I press the wrong button then or what? Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I trust Sarah now. It seems to have stuck her nose in a little bit. All right, we are back with. Oh, 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 whoa. oh, whoa, whoa, there, boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Okay, bye. Oh crap. Seven elves. Let's play a little game, shall we? Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Oh, shit. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What am I meant to be doing? Bloody oh. noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. Well, I've got to be careful you don't get caught. Say, the screen goes red, you know, when you're about to get caught. Secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. Man, I'll have to keep jarring it out. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, oh. A day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? The Lord? Shh, listen. You don't hear anything. Oh. There. Oh crap! I'm gonna run or what? Oh god, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I know I heard something. Uh, stay still. Oh. Never mind. We've wasted enough time. <laughs> I think if I'd have ran, I might have got an arrow in the back. Ooh, I hope we're close. Oh, there's a lot of them. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go and have a look at the body that's been sliced open. Okay, I've got a bad feeling about this. Is there a reason we are walking so slowly? Holy hell! Lord Ethan! As I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, 
Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. <clears throat> he was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. Oh, okay. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Oh, great. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. <coughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Oh dear. Here comes another decision. Lord Ethan. Missed. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. Man, I'm showing some compassion. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, whoa, whoa, thief. whoa. Eric? We're supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to all rub right, together. Alright, so now I'm going to have to get the people back on my side. Here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Stop hitting him. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot oh, do whatever the fuck damn. they please. Their Lord will not permit it. He can send him to the war. Oh no. Oh no. What are they gonna do? Please don't give me. Please don't give me more than one thing to choose. Take his fingers, a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Oh Please. crap! Take three fingers. Send my him to the wall. Show me. him mercy. See, his dad took three fingers, because. Send him to the wall, I'm not sure what that is. I think that's just like giving him like sending him out to the middle of nowhere with no hope or anything. Showing him mercy where maybe a sign to others Um that we're weak. Three fingers. He can still kind of do stuff with three fingers, right? I we can't banish him. We can't show him mercy because it's gonna let other people know. I, Ethan of House Forester, Lord of Ironrath, name you. Thief. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. Help! Please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! Well, give me time to change my mind. Oh, shit, I ain't doing that. But I am willing to carry it out. If you do not feel good. I will carry out the sentence. God, I'm not sure what I'm actually doing here. This is injustice, my lord! Just smack his head off! Smack his head off! Oh, no. Oh, I kind of like thinking I should have done it, but you know what? Once a thief, always a thief! Don't even steal my weapons from me ever again! Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Ah, que hora los Jasmine. Uh, yeah, I think whatever I did there. Certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. I think whatever I did was going to be wrong. Yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Oh, God. Stop giving me Someone choices! You can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. You should have one advisor above the rest. I pressed the button! Two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? What? Talk I to them. chose him! Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Oh, wow. Well. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Oh, dear. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. I tried to choose him. Oh, boo. Oh, dear Lord. Can we not just hold out for a little bit? <laughs> All right, I'm just going to have a little nosy around. Yeah, I was bound to be wrong um, in my decision there what to do with the guy who was stealing the weapons. Bound to be wrong. Let's talk to Ryan. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. Aww. I mean, I could never forget, but oh, you know, don't you? I'm honoured. Ah. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Doing that about moving Someday, your mouth, little man. I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. Don't be in a rush. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? Oh, a poo. bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. There you go. When I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Okay, little man. I understand. I understand your anger. And who might you be? Nobody Slash of any... Slash and parry! Slash and parry! Again! Christ, don't show horses coming down the bloody path. Okay. Why have I got that gauntlet? Oh dear. Sir Royland. Come on, come on, what did I say? Sword dot, slash right, parry, again. Okay. Sword up, swing left, parry. Wrong. I didn't know dogs an old sword. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your mm. advice. I'm going to be left, uh... 
I'm going to be left in a major quandary in a little bit. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And, uh, you should know that swinging that blade yourself took stones. It was a man's way of justice. When you say stones, you mean balls, right? Well, I've got... Give... Bracer to... Oh, no. I've got plenty of balls! Uh, uh, that comes out wrong, sorry. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Ethan is fine. Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. Hmm. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing okay. against me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. My mother. Of course, I'll be gentle. I know you will. Ah, bless you, Ethan. Hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. Oh, I don't say that. Cut some of his bloody fingers off. Not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice, and I'd trust him. Why, Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Okay. Ethan, I need to Ooh. talk to you. Hi. Oh dear, she looks a bit pissed off. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I had no... I him? had no choice. Come on. How could you be so cruel? Oh, God. I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? I did what I had to. I had no choice. You always have choices. Not when it comes you to thieves. You you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. See, I, I want Garrod to be the um, sentinel. But I'm the Lord. Is it sentinel? It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? I'm just a kid. Like... Ethan, please, tell me. I... I wish Father were here. We all do, but Father is gone. Why am I getting all sobby? are the lord of this house, which is... Let's get back to hardcore, home. Ethan. You're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. Yes. I only wish you did too. Sorry, You've I... always <laughs> given me good advice. Thank you. I just had a soppy moment. Okay. I should have asked for advice though, should I? Damn it. Uh, can I just ask for advice quickly on the old sent sentinel thing? Is it that. Uh, oh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, hello, Duncan. Hey, what are you doing there? Yes. 
See, now I'm a negotiator in life. I kind of like to negotiate things rather than steaming. I like to kind of just like talk things through. Flash, right. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Oh, dear. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Oh, crap. You can't Perhaps ask me that. Share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. Mm -hmm. I only hope to give you an advantage. I understand. And you're forgiven. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my Oh, lord. God, I don't know what to do. Guys, please, in the comments below or on uh, Instagram or Twitter, please... Tell me what I Our should do. Are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. Eric said people were going to starve. Ah, sugar. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. Yes, get them to do Hello. more. Oh dear. I do apologise there, guys, for yelping halfway through that little cutscene there, because I have hurt my back recently, and uh, it is paining me somewhat. Okay, I'm just going to go over and speak to um, Meister Ortegren. That's not even how you pronounce his name. And I'm going to call a halt to this part, guys, and we'll be coming straight back with some more Game of Thrones. Uh, if you want to say something. Maester. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Oh, poop. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it right here. Um, when we come back, we'll be asking him this question, and then we'll take it on from there. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been the Game of Thrones. I've been Shadow Moses. You guys have been fantastic. Be sure to come back to the next time. And as always, stay safe.